Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle here for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Prediction video time. Fight I want to talk to you guys about is taking place this Saturday night um, as part of Frank Warren's uh, BT Sport Boxing Show. It's the heavyweight clash between Daniel Dubois, who is 13-0 with 12 stoppages, and he takes on Kayutaro Fujimoto, who is 21-1, and, and he is 13 stoppages. So, um, it's really good to see Daniel Dubois back out, guys. Um, he's probably one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting, heavyweight prospect in the country at the moment. And he takes on, <clears throat> as I say, the relatively unknown um, Kayutaro Fujimoto. Now, I've been watching quite a lot of Kayutaro this week, and he seems like a very game guy. Um, he comes to fight. He packs decent enough power. Um, 13 of his wins have came early out of the 21 wins um, but he's got his hands full with Daniel Dubois who for me is at the very least going to European level um, that's that's the way that I see it I think I would not be one bit surprised if he reaches world level and cracks world level I think it would just time and right for Daniel if Daniel's to do that but I could see him being at the very least a European champion um, Fine Saturday night, if you look at both guys' strengths, um, Kayutaro is quite game, isn't he? he? He comes forward, he throws punches from awkward angles, and he's one of these guys, he's not going to be defeated until he's on his back. Unfortunately for him, um, that's what Daniel Dubois' game is. He's knocked out 12 or 13, he's a massive puncher, and he's also very, very good, Daniel, when it comes to stalking down his opponent. Um, very difficult to say where Kayutaro can cause Daniel many problems. Um, I've seen a bit of his fight that he lost to um, Solomon, can't remember the, f the full guy's name, um, where his hands were just too low, he got hurt on the back foot and he collapsed against the ropes, etc. And if he does that against Daniel Dubois, he will not get back up. So it'll be very, very interesting to see how, how that plays out if it comes to that. But um, with Daniel, we know Daniel's strengths, his power, his stalking ability. He's got a very, very hard jab. So I'm expecting um, an interesting fight uh, because is Kayutaro going to come out as he normally would and go hell for leather? Or does he know what he's up against and he's going to try and play it safe for a couple of rounds and try and um, hold and outmaneuver Daniel and try and frustrate him? So it's a very, very tricky one. Um, but moving on, and um, we'll go straight into prediction uh, time, guys. It's a very difficult fight to say too much about because Kayutaro is relatively untested, apart from that shock defeat he had um, some five years ago or so it was um, by stoppage in the fifth round. And Daniel's just been blown through everyone, hasn't he? Um, was very impressed with him against Nathan Gorman been very impressed in the past when I've seen him against guys like Kevin Johnson. Yeah, that one went the distance, but that's only a good thing. It shows Daniel that what, what's needed to go the distance in these kind of fights. But prediction time. This is not a fight I see going the distance. Um, you could probably tell that from the way I'm speaking. Um, I'd be very, very surprised if, with the way that Kayutaro fights, um, if it goes by three rounds, guys. So... My prediction for this Saturday night's fight between Daniel Dubois and Kayutaro Fujimoto is for Daniel Dubois to win by stoppage early in the fight. If you want to see more from me, my name's Greg Doyle. I write for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also check out our YouTube channel and our website. Speak again soon, guys. Thank you.